What up everyone, it's your boy FlozMG and welcome back to another episode of Beyblade IRL. This time we are going to be doing another battle of the Metal Masters World Championship teams. Forgot the name for a moment. This time we are doing the battles of Team Wang Hu Zhang versus Team Excalibur. This one, we didn't get to see every single battle in the actual like World Championships because... Wang Yu Zhang kind of got destroyed in the first little bit. But is history going to repeat itself this time? I don't know. We're going to find out. The first battle in the championships was a team battle with Poison Virgo and just a regular Aquario. But because I do not own a regular Aquario, I kind of had to substitute a Hyper Aquario with the same spin track and performance tip, obviously. And they were, went up against the Grand Cetus team. But I only have one Cetus, so I had to switch out the spin tracks. Let's see if they perform as well as they do in the anime, if not completely different. Alright, first up we have the T125 Grand Cetus up against the Aquario. Grand Cetus trying to keep a rather stable rotation in the middle of the stadium. I'm actually going to readjust this a little bit. There we go. Eh, that seems a bit more centered. Aquario racing around the stadium, already wasting its energy. We, we probably know what's going to happen. Unless Aquario can get one swift hit on Grand Cetus and fly out of the stadium, I don't think it's going to be lasting that much longer. Actually, hold on. It looks like the rubber shirt performance tip isn't doing much for Grand Cetus, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Oh! I take back everything I've said! But now let's see how it's going to do against Poison Virgo. It already seems like Virgil got a little bit off balance. But it's trying to keep up its steady rotation again. Doesn't look like it's doing much. The combination of the Eternal Sharp and Eternal Defense Ventra- oh. there, There's never enough time for me to commentate on these. And that ended in a tie? Now we're moving on to Grand Cetus WD-145 Spin Track. With it being a similar height to this Virgo now, it might perform a bit better. But that's the thing, this version of Virgo does not perform that well. There's too much, eter there's too much eternal free spinning on this bay. One win, one loss, and one tie from each. Now it's down to this Cetus and Aquario. The Cetus is taking a defensive stance in the middle. Aquario already got a few good hits in at the very beginning. Now it's in not exactly a perfect circling pattern, but hasn't managed to get another hit on Grand Cetus yet. Oh, never mind. Oh, that was really close. But it does look like Cetus is off its balance now. And Aquario takes down the Cetus! Between these first battles, Wang Yuzhong took the victory. victory. No thanks to Virgo. Virgo did Jack Diddley squat. Aquario completely carried that. Completely leading them to their first victory over Team Excalibur. But how is that going to fare in the second round now? In this next round, we have Thermo Lacerta versus Grand Capricorn. Grand Capricorn, a real, I will say, a really good defense type Beyblade. Defense is stronger than that of Thermo Lacerda, which is just a balance type Beyblade. In this battle in the anime, Chi Yoon, the owner of Thermo Lacerda, was just so overmatched by the sheer power of the Grand Capricorn. Is that going to repeat itself in this episode? Now we have the battles of Grand Capricorn versus Thermo Lacerda. Lacerda, if I remember correctly, is a balance old type Beyblade. Got a pretty good hit on Capricorn right there, who seems to be a really strong defensive type Beyblade. So this so this battle might actually last a bit longer than the previous ones. The Grand Fusion Wheel does protect from a good amount of attacks, even from a very thin into thicker fusion wheel like Thermal. But it already looks like those defenses are letting up on both sides, actually. Both are starting to lose momentum. Capricorn seems to be wobbling a bit more. Inevitably. A tie? If 
if this ends up being a bunch of ties, this is gonna be insane. It's all those oh That was like pretty oh Thermal Assert is getting a few strong hits, but nothing strong enough to knock Capricorn out of the stadium. And if what's gonna happen is what I think is going to happen, we're gonna be seeing a lot of ties. And all those little hits from Lacerda are gradually draining Capricorn's stamina, but at the same time, it is also draining Lacerda's stamina. See, again, they're both getting their they're both entering their wobbly states. Uh oh oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we're go we're gonna be here forever. Let it rip. And let it rip. Okay. Back at it again with yet another round. What are the chances this one's gonna end up in a tie? Probably pretty high, unless one of them can get a nice stadium out. Oh, it looks like Lucerta is actually starting to lose its stamina a bit more this time. Yep, Lacerda's going down. And there it is. Capricorn was still pretty close, though. But ultimately, between these two, Capricorn is the winner. I will say, I got really scared at the beginning because I thought we were just about to have a bunch of ties. I did not want to have to go through a bunch of ties, but thankfully, we did not go through a bunch of ties. We we had we had two ties, and then a defeat of Thermal Lacerda, giving Grand Capricorn the win, giving Team Excalibur the win. But now it is time... For the final round, between the leaders, Wang Yu Zhang's Rock Zarafa and Team Excalibur's Gravity Destroyer. We are going to be using Gravity Destroyer in his left rotation counter mode. Because I believe that was the closest thing that we saw in the anime when they did have their battle, which was not part of the championships, so it did technically count. Now we're going to see who finally wins this battle of the world championships. Let's see... Who wins? Let it rip. And let it rip. All right. Oh! Damn. I actually might have to go into slow motion for that one because I could not tell which one got launched first. Hey. For the sake of entertainment, we'll call that one a tie. Let's go again. It does look like that counter mode does cause a lot of recoil, if hit just right. I believe these guys are both classified as defense types. And with the constant clash of normal and reverse rotation, each one increasing each other's rotation speed. But it does look like Destroyer is starting to lose more stamina. Oh, wait a minute, actually. Hold on. Again, like I said, increasing each other's rotation speed, because now they kind of look like they're at the same level. But Destroyer lasted on slightly longer than Zarafa did. A tie is not going to cut it. Zarafa needs to win this one if it wants to stay in the game. If they lose again to Destroyer, or if it's another tie, Team Excalibur wins. Zarafa needs to win to stay in the game. They're doing their little dance around the arena. Perfectly avoid- never mind. They're not avoiding each other. Zarafa taking its defensive stance in the middle while Destroyer races around him. Well, not races around him, but just gradually stealing his power. They're both in their wobbly stages. Oh, Destroyer looked like it was about to go down there. Okay, that one also seemed like a little bit of a tie. 
And with that being a tie, we have our answer. These were definitely some evenly matched teams, but in the end, Destroyer won it. And there you have it, folks. For a moment, I thought we were going to have a repeat of the second round with a bunch of ties and then a victor. Thankfully, we did not. We do now know what the answer is of who wins the world championships, and it is Team Excalibur. They win the world championships in this episode. Please let me know in the future what either what teams you want me to do in the next episode, or just what kind of Beyblade episode in general you want me to do in the future. And I might take it into consideration. But for now, I've been Flozum G. This has been Beyblade IRL Metal Masters, Team Wei Hu Zhang versus Team Excalibur. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video.